we're going to watch a white dude go to a cookout. So, okay. Yeah, let's just get right into it with the video. Here we go. Okay. All right. Check it out. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, <laughs> passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, the mm -hmm. young to do that makes them nervous. Yeah, I don't do that. No, yeah. not at all. That's not something that you do at all. That's some bullshit. Yeah, like right out the gate. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, you don't do that. That cop, even if he's going below the speed limit, stay behind him. Like, we're going to be late today. Yeah, um, <laughs> facts. I, one, one thing I will not do is pass it. Every t like, 100% of the time that I have passed a cop, I have gotten pulled over. Yeah. 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 The, the the cop could be on the <clears throat> interstate. The, inter the, the the speed limit on the interstate is 70. The cop is going 55. If you go 56, you're going to get pulled over. <laughs> yep. Yep. So just, just don't do it. For real. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. Don't Dave, do it, Chappelle, so. Dave Chappelle has that that's that, like that bit like from one of his old standups where he talked about like hanging out with his wife friends and his wife friends would tell the cops I didn't know I couldn't do that. I had a real life situation where that happened to me one day. Uh, this this rapper I was working with, uh, 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 so I, the group that I used to manage and produce, uh, uh, the bastards that you know Ace One did, Ace One to Johnny Brasco and I used to produce uh, that we used to manage with live action animation and my late baby brother X Dash in the group, uh, the bastards. Uh, we were working on something one day, and me and uh, me and this uh, another rapper, this black rapper, were hanging out, and we needed a ride. So Kaz, the white guy from the Bastards, came to pick us up. He came to pick us up, right? And we were headed to the studio. And on our way to the studio, the cops get behind us and pull us over, right? <laughs> now, Kaz had been drinking that night. Oh, shit. so. Me and the other rapper are like, oh, shit, we about to go to jail. Fuck, I don't want to go to jail tonight. This is some bullshit, right? Cop walks up to the window, and, you know, Cass gives the cop his license and registration, and the cop is like, and, and Cass tells the cop, he's like, hey, officer, I just want to let you know, I've had a little bit to drink, but I, I, I got them, and we're headed to the house right now. We don't live far from here. And the cop gave him his ID back and said, well, get home safe then. God damn. And that was it. That was all that happened. That was that's the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> what? And Shit. I got put in handcuffs because uh, somebody else in the car was driving, was dr was drinking, and wasn't even driving. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I just got to put all y'all in handcuffs. I just got to be sure. <laughs> God yeah. damn. He just right. let us go. I was like, I ain't never seen that shit before. And, and it always makes me think back to that Dave Chappelle sketch. Let's move on <laughs> and watch the rest of this video. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Concrete jungle, wet dream tomatoes. There we go. Uh -huh, I like anyway, it. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick em up truck, <laughs> I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa, his great grandma and grandpa, and his 47 cousins. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table. Where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at, okay? They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this with barbecue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, so, I, I, you know what? I, I want to. I, I don't know what you're about to say, Monty, but like, no, no. I don't think the making the plate is a definitive. Yeah. Black no, that, cookout. That, that's what I was gonna ask. Like, yeah. I, I don't think that's a definitive. Like, I think that depends on the event. Yeah. You know. 
And it's just like, you depends know, like, on the it event depends. and the family hosting the cookout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can yeah, tell yeah. when you walk in what you're about to do with the food mm -hmm. based on how it's set up. Yeah. And look, I'm, let's, let's do a quick, quick Q and a quick uh, question and answer for the, for the chat right now. For those of you that have been to a black cookout before, did you make your own plate or did somebody make a plate for you? Let us know yeah. in the chat. Yeah, because I've done both. I've done both. Mm -hmm. Let like, us know. It, made my own first plate, cookout, somebody else way. made my plate for me. Let, huh? let us know in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is his first cookout. He went to one where they made his plate. Yeah. So, I've been to both. I just... I just imagine a scenario where, where it could be like where he goes to a, another black cookout and it's one of those make your own plates. Yeah. And he walks up to like the eldest black lady there and then just hands her a plate and it's like, you know, give me my dinner. <laughs> I, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> what you got for me? I just I just see that going very badly for him. Yeah. So look, if if you were watching this, um, that's not universal for all cookouts. Okay. <laughs> now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandma, Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats, all right? That barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness and she wants she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie now i saw friday after next i know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama i saw what happened to craig and day day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama you ain't have you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout i'm white not stupid so <laughs> as i eat this pie which i'm eating this pie because i ain't finna piss off nobody especially the head woman there because she ranked up top that's great grandma you don't mess with her I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. And I did just like this right here, just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was. <laughs> a little more of this cookout. Let's see what else he had to say. What else happened? He just had, he had, he had the meal. He sampled the potato salad. And then Mama T brought him some dessert, and he fell asleep, and it was all cleared up. <laughs> so, here, here's what happens next. Doubtful. But somehow, I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high-stake spades game at an all-black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no <laughs> idea. All right, I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea of what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently, that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock 9s hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me, okay? <laughs> now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, ah. which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge, but apparently, Bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. 
okay? <laughs> and apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money. <laughs> Which is fine. Made it through that one. That dude's got their own code like gator. What? <laughs> <laughs> and look, I, I think it's important to say that it depends on which black people you around because some black people bones is dominoes yeah and for other black people bones is dice i yeah. haven't heard people call dice bones in a long time which makes me think that he was probably more eastern south yeah. than he was yeah. mid south yeah well you sent me check check the notes real quick right there i, I sent you that part of the clip before and you, mm -hmm. you gave me a fair file question for it uh-huh. I, I, yeah, I, I got it. And I'll steal that. That, that, that. You want to just ask that question? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. So here's the question. Everybody watching, Monty, you know, everybody watching in the chat, let us know what y'all think. Is it fair or foul to put somebody out the cookout for not knowing how to play spades? Is it fair or foul to put somebody out the cookout to revoke their cookout pass for not knowing how to play spades? Monty, everybody in the chat, let us know what y'all think. All right. All right. Um... Can I can I give my answer in a little bit of a confession? Of course. Um, is 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 the is the is the confession that you don't know how to play spades? Yeah, yeah, it's foul to put somebody at a cookout because I don't know how to play spades. I I, I always historically avoid the spades game. Mm -hmm. Always, mm -hmm. every time. I don't want nothing to do with it. I ain't part of it. Uh huh. I don't know how to play. <laughs> Like, so, like, Mont, I, I just want you to know, like, like, this is one of those things that could cost you your black card. And you well, know this. Well, I, I do know this. But what I've done historically is when invited to play, mm -hmm. I pretend that I know how, but I'm too busy to play at that moment. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh I'm, I'm about to go get, let me, let me get another plate. I'm, I'm going I'm to eat another plate real quick, and I'll be over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll go grab that's, a that's... plate and eat it super slow. Till they forget that I'm supposed to come play. Uh huh. Shit like that. That listen, Monty. I want you to know that is one of those things that if you ever get discovered, all right, it, like it's like you're finding out. Like this ain't like finding out Bruce Wayne is Batman. It's like holy shit, that rich dude is Batman. The rich dude, the the the, the rich dude that opened up all the orphanages in the poor part of town is also Batman. That's crazy, right? No, this is finding out Superman is an illegal alien. Okay, <laughs> that's what that is. Okay, it's finding out that this motherfucker is an undocumented citizen. Okay, <laughs> is what that is. All right, this is like you could get in real trouble for not knowing how to play spades. I know. Uh, but, I know. Why you think I'll never find myself at the table? Also, also I got to pretend uh, uh, I know how to play. You know. Also, is it fair for I'll put somebody out the cookout for not knowing how to play spades? Foul, because I don't know how to play spades neither. <laughs> <laughs> I regularly, I regularly have my black card get challenged, but I know I said foul, foul, no opposite. I, no, I didn't say foul. Foul. <laughs> Put the foul screen. Up. I think the board's giving a problem. Oh, that's okay. Listen, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. Ducks. <laughs> yeah, I also don't know how to play spades. I actually played spades one time. It was Christmas in St. Louis some years ago, and. They was like, and, and literally sitting in this project building, right? It was definitely, and like, let's say, it was definitely the projects, okay? This was not no housing development, okay? Yeah. This yeah. was the Once projects, upon a time right? in the projects, yo. Yeah. Yes, this, this was when, this was when it, Christmas in the projects, okay? Yeah. Like, like Santa, Santa don't come down the chimney. He got to go through the incinerator, okay? Yeah. This yeah. is the Jex, right? <laughs> I'm in the projects in St. Louis on Christmas Day, playing spades and i'm like i don't know how to play spades and they're like oh it's easy let's play for money i'm like oh you, <laughs> you people is trying to set me up right now and i cleaned them out okay i'm like i don't know why people make it seem like spades is so hard y'all taught me y'all taught me the rules and i kicked y'all ass immediately <laughs> They was like, he lying. He he knows how to play spades. I'm like, I know how to follow instructions. I don't know what the <laughs> big deal is. <laughs> Apparently, part of it is lying about how many books you got. You got to say you got a low number. I'm like, what I got to lie for? I'm gonna beat you. You know, <laughs> like it's not like if you know, 
Like the word is, if it's over great, if, if it's over eight, it's great. So yeah, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Yeah, joke. Yeah, I got a great hand. You know what, the fuck about? what what I got to lie for? You know, law of averages means you got lower cards than me. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this. <laughs> what the problem is? All right. <laughs> I never won $35 so fast in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do not know how to play spades. Like, my sisters tried to teach me. Um, mm. But I had no interest. I'm like, ah. Mm. And they're like, come on, play. Like, all right, I'm going to go get a second plate. I'll be right over there. That's funny. That's... <laughs> no, I, listen, nothing will get you a blank card tested for revocation faster than not knowing how to play spades. Yeah. Like that 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 is that thing that will always get you challenged in a way that like doesn't like that would be like quoting a line from coming to America and then being the only person in the room that don't know what it's from. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that that would that would be like if Candace Owens came to the cookout and and was telling us how she got uh, like how, how uh, uh, she got a message from Ben Shapiro about how she got laid off from the, the uh, from from uh, uh, the Daily Daily Caller, right? <laughs> or whatever, whatever, whatever Ben Shapiro's thing is, right? The, yeah. the Daily Caller, Daily Stormer, Red yeah. State. I, I don't, I don't know what it is, but like that would be like Candace Owens being like, man, I, I was, I was chilling at home and Ben Shapiro sent me this thing telling me I'm laid off, and I'm like, man, how you get fired on your day off, Craig? Right, and every everybody see how Marcy reacted immediately. Right, he knows what it is, and she's like, "That's not funny. Don't make jokes about because she's never seen yeah, fucking Friday, she has, so she, she doesn't know the about. reference." Right, yeah, it's one of those things. There are certain things that will get your black card tested real. Will get yeah. revoked real fast, and not being able to play spades is one of those things. Yes. I, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So since he was talking about spades games. I was thinking about other games that people play. Um, like this one, for instance. Check this out. You know, uh, you got one dollar. Yeah, come on. Here, two dollars, bro. Come on, you can go down and you can go over to Popeye's. You want some money? Come on down. Come on down, buddy. Come on down. It's not working. I don't be up I got some crack. I got some crack over here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get some crack, buddy. You're holding up two trains. Yeah, see, moving crackheads. Wait, uh, that, that's, crack. wait, that that that's what the, that's what it was. Yeah, he was he was mm-hmm. trying to get the guy to move. He offered him money. He wouldn't move, and he said, "I got some crack over here." Oh, okay. All right. I, I, yeah, I totally missed that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got this is the last little bit of this cookout video. Check it out. Okay. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck, and I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck, trying to leave this place. Now. I get to my truck, I put my hand on my truck to go open it, and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like I didn't piss nobody off, nothing went wrong. I went, whew, I made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is <laughs> behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck. <laughs> with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me, he said, hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday, you coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> Bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back, because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit, because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I was scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet.
I told him, I said, y'all, y'all need me to bring something like some ice, cause I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all, y'all want some ice or like, or like some uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit, and bring him. You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. <laughs> what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I, which I will be there. <laughs> I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween in Collard Green.